I love Gothic art and literature. There is something profoundly captivating about the dark elegance, the intricate details, and the haunting beauty that these works possess. Edward Gorey, in particular, has always held a special place in my heart. His unique blend of macabre humour and meticulous artistry draws me into a world where the bizarre and the whimsical coexist in perfect harmony. Today, we're diving into the enigmatic world of Edward Gorey, exploring his life, his art, and his lasting impact on literature and culture. Born in Chicago in 1925, Edward Gorey exhibited an early fascination with the macabre and whimsical. His childhood was marked by a voracious appetite for reading, which laid the foundation for his later works. Gorey attended Harvard University, where he was part of the literary society, fostering his burgeoning talent in both writing and illustration. His time at Harvard was crucial, providing him with a rich cultural environment that influenced his future creations. Gorey's artistic style is a distinctive blend of Victorian and Edwardian influences, combined with a surreal, almost dreamlike quality. His pen and ink drawings are renowned for their intricate detail and the ability to evoke a sense of mystery and melancholy. This unique combination has cemented Gorey's place as a master of Gothic art. Each piece tells a story, inviting viewers to explore a world filled with eerie charm. Let's look at some of his most iconic works. One of Gorey's most famous works, The Gashly Crumb Tinies, is an alphabet book that chronicles the grim fates of 26 children, each representing a letter of the alphabet. This work is a quintessential example of Gorey's dark humour and masterful storytelling. The Doubtful Guest, published in 1957, tells the story of an odd creature that arrives uninvited at a Victorian home and proceeds to disrupt the household. The book is a perfect showcase of Gorey's ability to blend the bizarre with the mundane. Gorey's first book, The Unstrung Harp, offers a satirical look at the life of a novelist, capturing the creative struggles and peculiar habits of the writer, Mr. Earbrass. This early work already displayed the hallmarks of Gorey's later style. Edward Gorey's influence extends far beyond his books. His work has inspired a wide range of adaptations, from stage productions to animated films. Gorey's aesthetic has also been a significant influence on the Gothic subculture, particularly in fashion and design. Gorey's influence is evident in Tim Burton's films, which often echo Gorey's dark, whimsical style. Additionally, Gorey's illustrations were used in the opening sequence of the PBS television series Mystery, introducing his work to a broader audience. Gorey was an avid theatre enthusiast, and his influence is apparent in several theatrical productions. He designed sets and costumes for a number of plays, including the 1977 Broadway revival of Dracula, which won him a Tony Award for Best Costume Design. Gorey's work continues to captivate new generations of readers and artists. His books remain in print and his illustrations are celebrated in exhibitions worldwide. The Edward Gorey House in Yarmouth Port, Massachusetts, serves as a museum dedicated to preserving his legacy and showcasing his eclectic collections. The Edward Gorey House offers a fascinating glimpse into the artist's life, featuring a collection of his works, personal artifacts and items that reflect his eclectic interests and eccentric personality. Gorey's works often explore themes of death, absurdity and the unknown. His stories, while dark, are imbued with a subtle humour that invites readers to see the absurdity in the macabre. This balance of light and dark is a defining characteristic of his oeuvre. Gorey's work is a modern continuation of the Gothic tradition, blending elements of horror and romance with a distinctively ironic tone. His influence can be seen in contemporary Gothic literature and art, where his unique style and themes resonate strongly. <laughs> 